Hi there, thanks for tuning in. So at the end of this video, I'm gonna be announcing the winner of this Mac Pro and a copy of BBC Symphony Orchestra or alternative to the same value, MSRP. Um, I just wanted to say I had 312 entries, uh, which I was just absolutely amazed by. And the standard of those entries was just phenomenal, absolutely incredible, so much so that um, Christian's helping me with my shortlist. I've got a shortlist um, and I've been finding it very, very hard to pick the winner. So um, me and Christian are going to work that out and I'm going to drop in at the end of this video. So to you, it will appear seamless. But at the moment, um, Christian's listening through to my shortlist and helping me. Um, so thanks very much, mate, for that. But I just wanted to say um, we were so amazed by the level of the tracks that made the shortlist that we're going to come up with something a little um, extra for you as well. So keep an eye to the end of this video. I'm going to put up the winner and I'm also going to put up the shortlist and I'm going to list them all below so you guys can all have a look at those as well. Some fantastic work. If you are the winner or you're on the shortlist, please get in touch with us. Um, with your full details and information and we will get your prize to you. So that is to come. First up uh, though, I've been asked a couple of times now and I just want to show um, how you are able to use a multi-timbral workflow in Hans Zimmer Strings. Now this is not a simultaneous multi-timbral, in other words you can't play eight MIDI channels all at the same time or 16 all at the same time through the single instance. That is something that is in our, uh, our roadmap, um, but uh, currently if your workflow is such that you want to have a single instance but you want to use MIDI channels to play the different articulations and they're not going to be playing at the same time, that is very simple. I'm going to show you how to do it now. So first up, in Logic, uh, we open a software instrument and we make it multi-timbral. I'm just going to make it eight multi-timbral parts at the moment, just for the sake of ease, but you can do up to 16. Now, you pick your instrument that you're going to play. I'm going to leave it on 60 cellos all in one. And then you basically just go through and assign each MIDI channel to a specific articulation. And the way you do that is here. You trigger using MIDI channel and that is set to MIDI channel one. If I want to make the shorts on MIDI channel two, then I go MIDI channel two. I could do uh, Bartok Pits on MIDI channel three. And then I would simply go in here and name these uh, longs, uh, staccato, Bartok. And you'll see what happens when I play. So here are the longs. If I then go on to our staccato channel, and then we to our Bartok, Now you can also, um, you know, I don't know whether some of you might might not have noticed, but you can also change the mix for each different articulation. So we could go for a kind of uh, much closer mix on the longs, and then for the Bartok pits, we could change that, switch the global control off, and just have the ambient mics for that one. So now you'll notice that if I go back to the longs they still have the close and tree. So just to demonstrate that, here's the sound of the longs. And the Bartok. So a couple of quick tips there for the um, Hans Zimmer strings, and obviously this is the same with the BBC as well, um, to be able to maybe help your workflow so that you can uh, have all of your articulations on separate MIDI channels. Um, but actually just using a single instance of the player as well. So over to the competition. Now I'm going to cut the tape here and I'm going to go and have a chat with Christian and I'll be straight back with the winner. So the winner is, drum roll please, Danilo Aguiar. So congratulations Danilo, fantastic track. We all loved it here. Um, please get in touch and we will arrange to ship out the Mac Pro to you. It'll be the first week of January now. 
Um, we'll get all your address details and all that kind of stuff and we will get it straight over to you. We'll also get you a copy of BBC Symphony Orchestra plus a copy of Spitfire Solo Strings. All of the runners up that I've listed below are also going to get a copy of Spitfire Solo Strings. So if you are a runner up or indeed Danilo, um, put a comment that we can clearly identify you in your own YouTube video to say um, that you are that you've heard that you've got a prize and then get in touch with us via the support desk in the first week of January we will sort all of you out with your prizes and thank you very much indeed again for all your hard work and entering so have a fantastic holiday if I don't speak to you before then um, and I hope that you all have a fantastic 2020 see you on the next one bye bye